Our main role in the process is to help our brokers and customer needs, primarily in obtaining their CCTV footage. Footage can be remotely retrieved from Vision Track's autonomized portal in a quick and efficient manner. The portal is very user friendly and footage can easily be found. We do find regular users of the portal frequently download footage in order to help manage their businesses. Once we have the footage, it's immediately sent to our dedicated claims team in Aviva. If the footage is too large to send via email, then we can arrange for Aviva to send a secure email link to upload it directly to them. This particularly applies for multi-camera 360 systems where the footage exceeds email bandwidth. Occasionally, we're asked to assist in helping customers reset their password logins. It's very important to help reduce costs. Over many years, we've worked closely with Aviva to prove that fast, accurate claims notification leads to lower claims costs. When incidents are reported directly by customers, or ideally the driver, when safe to do so, I must add, Aviva can help control costs, provided they have full third party details. In fault incidents, Aviva can quickly contact third parties and be ready to act with support with replacement vehicles and repair needs, negating the need for expensive accident management companies. Customers also benefit from our Yes Claim bonus, entitling them to a £200 reduction on their policy access, irrespective of fault. Aviva's instant helpline is 24 7 and is always open. Furthermore, any incident reported directly to Aviva is automatically shared with us here at Q Underwriting. We can then notify our customer's broker. Aviva have produced two excellent two minute videos highlighting the importance of fast action. The links shown will repeat at the end. Please watch them and share with your customers. As the Truck Mini Fleet product requires 75% of claims to be reported within one day to maximize the benefits, I'm pleased that we do everything we can to help make day one ethanol happen. All Vision Track VT2000 or VT3000 cameras have separate hardware panic buttons. Using the panic button ring fences in an instant, making the search for footage much easier and faster. Panic alerts are then automatically uploaded to the automatized portal. We find that the best trained drivers usually press panic buttons within several minutes of an incident occurring. This makes finding the footage easier. These notifications then alert the HGV's operating base so they can act whilst their vehicle is still out working. At its best, we've seen customers upload footage to their desktop, sharing it within minutes of an incident. As cameras are connected, this is done without the HGVs needing to return to their base. If drivers are unable to hit their panic button or simply forget, we suggest that they remember the point on a map where the incident occurred. For example, near a junction or near to a premises, such as a pub or a shop. As the autonomized portal is also a tracking platform, it's also possible for customers to extract footage from the track journey itself. This is something we cover in the camera management training program, which is part of our proposition. As well as capturing the incident itself, it's also possible to see what happens immediately afterwards. This might be drivers pointed to damage. We can also see the number of occupants in the third party vehicles and if they're presenting any injuries at the scene, which has proved extremely useful in tackling fraud. Even though cameras are forward facing, extracting footage is still important when incidents happen at the site or to the rear of the HGV. If we can see, clearly see the positions of the vehicles involved against road markings and lane signs, it can really help in determining liability. We use this with lane changing incidents, including those on roundabouts. Similarly, if HGVs are accused of reversing into a third party, any forward facing footage can easily show if the truck was moving backwards. Even when HGV drivers are clearly at fault, extracting the footage can help mitigate the claims costs. If the vehicle hits a third party at low speed and the injury claim is presented at a later date, the footage enables us to raise causation and treat the incident as a low speed impact. It's important to remember that on high definition settings, camera footage will be overwritten on SD cards after approximately 50 hours. This is another reason to act quickly as soon as incidents have occurred. It's good practice to treat the camera as a working part of the vehicle. 
As the units are 3G, 4G connected, the pressing of the panic button each week will show the camera is correctly working. Make sure windscreens are clean and clear and that camera lenses are not obstructed. These obstructions could be inside or outside the cab, such as wiper blades. For multi-camera systems with external side or rear facing cameras, try to clean the lenses, especially where the HGVs visit dusty locations like building sites. Always report incidents. The camera isn't a reporting tool and incidents must be reported in the normal manner. Finally, please take full advantage of what the Automanize portal can offer. When used wisely, this can help stop incidents happening in the first place. We know many HGV fleets use near-miss footage as an important tool to improve driver behaviour. Also, using video to add context to speeding events which are flagged in reports can be very effective. 20 mile an hour over the limit outside the school is usually more serious compared with the same level of speeding on open rural roads.